may notice this green light flash across your screen a couple of times. It's puzzling neighbors in Cape Coral, but this is actually the cause. It's a plane flying low over people's homes, scanning the ground with that green laser. Welcome back. I'm Chris Safadi. And I'm Lois Tomey. So what does this plane, what is it doing? Awake News anchor Annette Montgomery joins us in the studio. And Annette, what did you learn? Well, Chris and Lois, I learned who it's not after reaching out to everyone from the city of Cape Coral to the county to the Florida Division of Emergency Management to the South Florida Water District and Port Authority. Now, these low-flying planes with green lasers does not belong to them. One neighbor got so fed up, she purchased a flight radar to help narrow down the search for the owner. It's not something you see every day. Oh, geez, it was soft. I mean, it went back and forth at least... I would say 40 minutes to an hour. But for people living in Cape Coral, they've been seeing it a lot this week. It was really late at night. It was kind of around midnight. It was around midnight. Um, and I, was, I was actually in my car. I was just getting home, and I saw it going back and forth with a laser beam. And it was it scanned over me multiple times, and it was just moving. It was scanning the whole area, every square footage, basically, going just forth. That low-flying plane was in Casey Sutton's neighborhood for hours Sunday night. Philip Bertolio saw it the same day, but a few hours earlier while watching the Super Bowl game. When it came by, you could see the green laser light like spread out, like it was mapping. We heard some of it was mapping the area is what we were told. And it kept going in a north and south Tom's direction, right and it would just go farther to the farther to the west. It kept going north and south and come. It's the first time these neighbors saw a sight like this while looking up at the night sky. So Casey decided to track down who the plane and its lasers belong to. I've never had flight radar until this happened. Cause I'm like, what the heck is going on? But it shows that what kind of plane it was and what type of plane. I don't know who owns it. It just has private owner. When you put the information Casey provided into the FAA website, it comes back with this information saying it's registered to Randigo LLC. But it's unclear who or what they're doing. We just want to know what's going on, why we're being, why we're being scanned. I also reached out to the U.S. Geological Survey as they are doing some mapping and data collection involving low-flying planes right now. But they told me not only do their planes fly during the day, they also don't use green lasers. I'm still waiting to hear back from the NOAA. I did speak with a representative over the phone, but she was unable to confirm or deny if these planes belong to them. Two Red Rocks Amphitheater employees saw some sort of dark metallic disc fly over the sky about a mile from the famous venue. This was on June 5th. It apparently vanished after a few seconds. Hmm. Of course, none of this has been confirmed by any sort of government organization. There's no pictures, no video, but... Viewers reach out to us after they say they spotted those rotating green lights in the sky. Now, Caden Little of Middletown reached out and he tells us he saw the lights around 1030 or 11 last night. And take a look at this video he sent us. You can see a ring of bright green lights rotating in the sky. And another video taken by Bryce Garrick also shows those lights. And then all of a sudden you can see the lights will quickly zoom off to the less left of your screen and then they just disappear. Now little says it appeared to be much larger than a drone. Signs. This is actual footage of giant crop circles that appeared on a farm near Central California. So naturally this has people wondering, is this the work of aliens? Is this a hoax? Is this some very talented prankster? I'm a skeptic, but this could be aliens. I don't know. I mean, I'm always willing to believe something. So, I mean, if there's proof, then like, you can't deny proof. But right now, it looks like aliens to me, so. Well, two friends driving on a nearby road on Sunday night witnessed strange bursts of green light flashing on the horizon. They said they videotaped it, posted it on YouTube, where, of course, it went viral, bringing a number of curious onlookers to the scene on Monday to see it for themselves. I have no so idea. So first the green what light flashes and that. then this pops up. And then huh? this. Hmm. Luz submarina en plena luz del día. En lago Rapel, que será? Uh -huh. 
luz submarina en plena luz del día, en la gorrapel que será. Luz submarina en plena luz del día, en la gorrapel que será. Uh -huh. 